Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you and blessed will you be. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the country of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. So, Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, over all these things put on love, that is, the bond of perfection, and let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body, and be thankful, and whatever you do, in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever you do, do from the heart, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that you will receive from the Lord the due payment of the inheritance. Be slaves of the Lord Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, Lord give success to the work of our hands. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is this not, is not his mother named Mary, and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, and not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all of this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everyone, and happy feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. Um, and as I, I mentioned uh, yesterday on our social media accounts, I just wanted to take a moment to thank all of those who are working so uh, very bravely uh, in these last weeks and in these last days. And, you know, last week, you know, we had those masses for the sick and the deceased, and we were able to list all those names. And um, if we had tried to do that today, I think we might be here for 
three or four hours listing everyone who's working and we would always end up forgetting someone. So let me just say um, to all of you, wherever you might be working, however you might be working, uh, thank you uh, for what you're doing. You know, I've, um, I I've seen those commercials uh, on TV and certainly, you know, the commercials are thinking all, all people working are first responders, those working in grocery stores, those teachers teaching at home, um, everyone who's being creative. But the commercials I, I see all the time are the ones for our amazing healthcare workers. And they give you that new title, right? The, the healthcare hero. And they put capes on, they have Superman wearing a surgical mask. Um, and I think it's, it's owed, it, it's dignified, uh, it's well deserved. But what I find interesting is when I do reach out to those I know um, who work in hospitals, and I say, you know, you're a healthcare hero, they all say to me, I I'm not a hero. I'm not special. I'm just, I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to do. And you know, the same thing is true for those other workers. You, you reach out to our first responders and say how heroic they are and say, I'm, I signed up for the job. You say to someone who's working at a grocery store, hey, I'm just trying to make a living. I'm, I'm lucky because at least I have a job. And it's amazing how the, the world you know, glorifies them, but they humble themselves. And it's that humility in the face of, of glorification that St. Joseph the worker speaks of. Because St. Joseph certainly could have bragged the world of what he was, the father of Jesus. But he didn't, right? We know that, that Joseph, the carpenter, was a righteous man. And he went about his work simply without a word. He never, never even gets a word in the entire gospel. He just does what he's supposed to do because it's his job. And does he have hardships? Certainly he has hardships, right? This is a man who would have been ostracized by his community because he had a child before his wife was married to him. This is someone who has to flee and protect his family from Herod that the flee to, the, to Egypt. It's a man who, who worked hard. But he doesn't complain. He just does it because he knows what's supposed to be done. St. Joseph also teaches us that as he is working, he is adding to his human dignity by caring for his wife and for his son and by doing it simply. But he also teaches us very simply that because he was not just working for his son, but because he was working for Jesus Christ, it added not only to his dignity, but to his sanctity. And I, I would say this uh, to all of you today. If, if you are working, wherever you might be working, if, if you are facing conditions you never thought you would, and, and you find yourself lacking patience, or lacking strength, or lacking fortitude or courage, to pray to St. Joseph that you would have the strength to just go about your work because it's the work you've been handed. I'd also remind you that like St. Joseph, however you are working, by doing it because you are taking care of your family, your children, because you're taking care of your neighbors and strangers, it is certainly adding to your dignity and the dignity of your family and of our communities. But don't stop there. When you are checking someone out at CVS, don't just see a person, see the face of Jesus Christ. When you are trying for seven hours to teach your mom how to set up a Zoom account, you're doing it for Jesus. And yes, as you are in the hospitals, as you're dealing with patients, as you're talking to them and their families, remember you're doing it for our Lord, because whenever you help the least of these, you help Him. And that will build up your sanctity and your holiness. And of course, the last thing I'd like to encourage everyone to do today is to maybe take five seconds, send a text message, pick up the phone, call or reach out to someone who has been working and thank them for everything they've been doing. And know that everyone here thanks you as, as well. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we call upon our loving Father, know that He always hears us. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for Bishop John Barris, that they be filled with the Holy Spirit as they lead and guard the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are sick. We pray for the repose of the souls of all those who have died. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who are working in these days, that they would do so with dignity 
and that it would lead to their sanctity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase of vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and marriage in the church, especially young men and women of our parish. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers mentioned now in the silence of our hearts. And for Anne Hearn, Thomas J. Hayden, and Anna Fogel, for whom today's Masses are being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, we offer these prayers in petition to the intercession of St. Joseph. Answer them that they be in accord with your most holy will. For we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Great brethren, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty, in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of our protection for those who call upon you. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, our Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you, for them we offer you this sacrifice of praise that they offered for themselves and all who are dear to them. For the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God living and true. In commemoration, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that through their merits and prayers and all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, we graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect, make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, 
He took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, God's Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them. As once you are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angels to your altar in high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us the sign of faith, and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place for refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship of your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, to their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, Lamb of God, behold him takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you enter my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Alleluia.
Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace. Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Before the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.